Went 2-2 two and two on the show yesterday. Ironically enough, those two winners were the plays that you guys in the comments section weren't too keen on, but I finally successfully faded. David Peterson, it has happened. Our incredible record here on the Power 5 now stands at 64-34-4 and four over all the last three weeks. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners here on Wage Talk TV. On today's show, I've got plenty of daytime action for you plus a couple of first five inning bets for tonight. That way you can go to bed early, get some sleep before a busy weekend of football. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any question or thoughts on these five selections for Wednesday. We're going to start with the over in Guardians White Sox. That number is eight. We play it to eight and a half. To go back to Monday, we cashed an under in the series opener between these teams here on the Power Five last night. Guardians won again, this time 5-0, so back-to-back -back unders from these AL Central rivals. Look, we obviously all understand the White Sox offense absolutely stinks. However, so does their pitching. By the way, we should point this out now because we're down the stretch run. Chicago has now lost 20 consecutive series and has not won a home game since August 12th. That They would need to go 10-6 and six the rest of the way to avoid tying the 1962 Mets for the most losses in a single season in MLB history, modern MLB history. Woo! Back to today's game. Just wanted to point all that out for you. But back to today's game, Davis Martin, he's the starter for the White Sox. Team is 0-8 when he pitches this season. Not good. Uh, I suspect Cleveland is going to be able to take advantage of Martin and that woeful White Sox bullpen. We all know about the White Sox bullpen. That's where plus one and a half where unders go to die when they come into the game. The key here with the over is really whether or not we think the White Sox can score three or more runs because Cleveland scored five each of the first two games. I think the White Sox can get to three here. As Guardian starter Matthew Boyd has bad career numbers versus the White Sox, 5.12 ERA and 18 starts. And that elite Guardians bullpen saw heavy usage yesterday. Six different relievers were used in the win. So some of the high leverage guys may not get the call Today, over eight, it is for me. All right, number two, Mets team total under four and a half. It's a little juicy, minus 145, but the correct way to play it. Uh, as the Mets are facing Bowden Francis, who has been simply sensational for the Blue Jays, allowing three runs or fewer in six consecutive starts. Three of those six starts, Francis went seven innings and allowed just one hit. This guy's great. Normally, I might be worried about the Blue Jays' bullpen, but the Mets have scored a total of just five runs the first two games of the series. They got a little lucky on Monday, winning in extra innings. But for this afternoon, this is a 3.07 Eastern start, by the way. They'll need to rely on their own pitching to get the job done. Sean Manet is pretty good, so maybe they can rely on their pitching to get it done. But I don't see the Mets putting many runs on the board, so under four and a half for the Mets team total on this one. Number three, how about an underdog for this afternoon? Texas Rangers plus 131 on the money line versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is, of course, a rematch of last year's World Series. D-backs lost twice in Arlington back in May, but were finally able to gain a measure of revenge by shutting out the Rangers last night, 6-0. I know this Arizona lineup has been deadly all season long, and Texas is not going back to the playoffs this fall. But I really like Cody Bradford, the Rangers starter tonight, or this afternoon, pardon me. Over his last five starts, Bradford has posted a 2.53 ERA, seven straight starts with three or fewer runs allowed. I backed him his last time out. It was a first five bet against the Angels. That cashed. The Rangers went on to win that game 3-1. to one. Tougher matchup here, no doubt, but Bradford is the better starter in this matchup. Arizona's Merrill Kelly, he's got a 5.72 ERA his last five starts. Bradford against Kelly should translate into a nice underdog win for the road team in this one. Again, this is a day game, 340 Eastern. Quick note before we get to the night slate, tough 0-2 for me with client plays at wagertalk.com last night. Very disappointed to lose that $5 best bet on Seattle, but it's still a 24 13 and 1 overall run the last 18 days. And we're bouncing back tonight with a 4% total. Totals have been our bread and butter in MLB the last couple weeks. 7 and 1 our last 8. Remember, we had the over in Cubs Dodgers on Monday. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to pick up tonight's 4% best bet. All right, let's turn to the night slate. I'm taking the Yankees' first five money line against the Royals with Luis Heal set to make his second start since returning from the IL. Heal was just unreal last Friday at Wrigley Field. He allowed just one hit in six shutout innings. 
Now, the Yankees didn't score any runs last night and struck out a season-high 14 times. And they're going up against Cole Reagans, who didn't allow any runs himself last start. But I still trust this Yankees lineup more than I do the Royals. Talked about it all year. Casey's offensive numbers, they plummet away from Kauffman Stadium. 29th in walk rate, 5th in K rate. I think this first five money line price of minus 135 is just too cheap on the pinstripes. So I'm jumping on it. Let's close out the Power Five with another first five innings play. Red Sox, first five money line, minus 126 versus Baltimore. Yeah, I know playing the Red Sox in the first five yesterday was a fail. But tonight we get to fade Dean Kramer. He has a 4.71 expected ERA. Kramer was great his last time out, but he's not going to be here. And that means trouble for the Orioles who are going against Nick Pavetta. The Red Sox starter has the highest stuff plus rating among all qualified starters. Pavetta also, more traditional numbers. He's allowed three runs or fewer, five of his previous six starts. He and the Red Sox are the play in the first five tonight, 7-10 Eastern. I obviously want to exclude the Red Sox atrocious bullpen from this equation. All right, let's do a quick recap of the Power Five in case you missed or forgot anything. Number one, Guardians White Sox over eight. Number two, Mets team total under four and a half. Number three, Rangers plus 131 on the money line versus Arizona. Number four, Yankees first five money line versus Kansas City. And number five, Red Sox first five money line versus Baltimore. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Again, positive, negative, neutral. If you just want to leave a thumbs up, I'm cool with all of it here. Just love hearing back from you. Let's keep that engagement rolling here on the Power Five. And a reminder about that latest special offer currently going on right now at wagertalk.com for a limited time. You can get the next 30 days of my NFL and college football for just $199. That's less than $50 per week for every winner. No coupon code needed. Again, you just head over to wt.buzz slash bp to pick up that package. And it was a winning week one in NFL for yours truly. Plus, you go back to last season. How about a 25 and 11 run in CFB? 67% start in college, 6-3 and three this season. Last Saturday, I nailed all three CFB sides, including Northern Illinois against Notre Dame. Who needed the 28 points when you went outright? In fact, all three of my sides on Saturday were underdogs that won their games outright. I also had San Jose State over Air Force and ULM against UAB. I'll give you one more. Trent Dilfer stinks uh, for the road. Also, remember to subscribe to that Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done that. Of course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. But that does it for the Power 5 here on Wednesday. Smash that like button if you already haven't done so. Let's keep rolling, guys. Until next time, we'll catch some more tickets.